Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly readings. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How are you doing Pisces? Hope you guys are doing awesome. Want to wish you and your family happy holidays. Let's get into your reading. Spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels. What are the messages for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of December 2021? What are the messages for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Did you guys start your holiday shopping already? Christmas shopping? Or are you guys like me and leaving it till the last minute? <laughs> we got to get better at that. All right, let's get into it. One more shuffle. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Here we go. All right, Pisces, we're starting off here with the Seven of Wands. Okay, so you may be experiencing a bit of feeling like you have to guard your energy for some of you guys this could be standing your ground in regards to a situation for others of you it could be that you're feeling a little bit drawn out or pulling back your energy being a little bit more secluded perhaps um there's definitely a feeling of being guarded we're gonna see what's going on with that your next card here is the ace of coins so the Ace of Coins could represent uh, being a little bit guarded or perhaps being more cautious about your spending, cautious about finances, money, career. For others of you, could be that you're going on this new journey or a new endeavor in regards to something that has to do with the physical aspect of yourself. This could be changing routine. This could be starting a diet. This could be... Uh, working on yourself or your image. Okay, let's get into your reading, Pisces. First card here is the Four of Swords. So I definitely see you guys a little bit very much in your head um, in regards to finances and career. For some of you guys, you may be or currently will be going through some type of major expense, unexpected expense. Um... Or it could be a situation where you made some type of payment, some type of investment in the past, and you didn't really foresee um, being in a situation or in as in the present, being in a situation where there's going to be almost like expenses. It could be the holidays. It could be that uh, you purchased, you know, something major. It could be like a home. It could be a car. And you didn't really foresee any more expenses. And then, boom, the holidays are here. Boom, uh, your son is needing, you know, a new laptop, something like that. It's uh, recurring unexpected expenses. And I see you guys very concerned about it or stressed about it. Now, your next card here is the Four of Cups. Yeah, I feel that for some of you guys, it's like, what they're telling you is for this month of December, it's going to be very important to be methodical about your finances and your spending. Don't go off buying your boyfriend this super expensive gift um, because there may be something unexpected that comes up where you're going to have to uh, put out money. This could be like, um, like I said, if you recently purchased a home, it could be that um, something needs some type of revamping or some type of um, some type of work in the home that is unexpected uh, expense that you're going to have to take care of. Um, for others of you, if you recently purchased a car, it could be that uh, there is an unexpected um, expense with that car in, or in connection with the car. Um, could be that it needs a new tire or it could be that it needs uh, something that wasn't fully disclosed to you. So again, be cautious about your spending. Now, I do see for some of you guys, there could have been some type of uh, detaching or some type of um, creating distance between you and a person of interest. If you were dealing with someone that recently uh, there's no longer communication or there's no longer contact. I see you getting to the point of having to stand your ground or perhaps you spoke up for yourself. Um, you... Put them in their place, and rightfully so. With the Ace of Coins, this is a realization of your worth or what you deserve and what you don't deserve if you are being mistreated. 
knowing that you don't deserve that and speaking your mind and speaking your truth. With the Four of Swords, it created some type of distancing. Four of Cups, I still, I still see you wanting or hoping to hear from some type of communication from them, hoping and wanting to see uh, if they will reach out. You do have the Wheel of Fortune here. Um, the Wheel of Fortune is that of the, you know, the cycle changing. It also indicates to us the seasons. But I feel that right now you're going into a understanding. This is more like a higher lesson to be learned for some of you guys. Um, being grateful. Um, it's almost like when we go through a situation or an experience that everything seems to be going our way. We have a tendency of forgetting to feed our spiritual side. And it's only through difficulties and struggle that we're like quick to go to our spiritual or to become spiritual. And what spirit is telling you is learning the balance of both will keep the energies flowing. If we don't learn how to maneuver that, we're going to be going through ups and downs, through difficulties. Um, and here with the Four of Cups, I feel like there was some type of situation where there wasn't much appreciation for that or there wasn't much genuine or authentic gratefulness for it. And I feel like there is a lesson that is unfolding for you. Your next card here is the Five of Swords, the Seeker of Wands, and the Conqueror of Swords. So I definitely do see them looking into you. Um, we're talking directly about those of you guys that are dealing with a situation where a person perhaps wasn't completely honest with you, where you decided to put your foot down and stand your ground, knowing your worth, even if it meant um, ending things or creating some type of distance. I see you having the desire to want to hear from them, and it's kind of like hopeful wishing or wishful thinking. Um, with the Five of Swords, this is a person that is ruled by ego. I feel that their ego was hurt it could have been that they were put in a position of embarrassment it could have been if they were dealing with someone else it could have been that they were put in a position where the partner found out who you were or vice versa and there's some type of embarrassment connection to this connection here but what they're saying is you will be hearing from them but to be completely honest with you um this is just an attempt to try to feed their ego again. So if you are dealing with this situation, Pisces, do not, hear me out, do not give the opportunity to this person that deceived you in the past to come back around, even if they're promising you the world. Because I feel that it's only, the only reason why they're doing it is because they're trying to feed their ego, their ego was hurt, and they're trying to find a way to prove to themselves that they can have you again. We have the Seeker of Wands here, which is the Page of Wands, and the Conqueror of Swords, which is the Knight of Swords. Quick and rapid movement, but it's not something that is steady or stable. And it's facing the Five of Swords, which is ego. It is deliberately cutting communication out, then to finally reach out, but they're not being authentic or they're not being genuine. So again, my advice, close and shut the fucking door on that person. They are not worth your time. Um, now for others of you, I do see that there is going to be a situation, like I said, where there is a need for you to speak up, stop holding back. Um, when we're talking about career and finances, be wise about your spending at this present time as you may be dealing with some unexpected expenses. Um, and it ultimately comes to being able to manage your money better um, or being more proficient at uh, balancing your checkbook. Um, but definitely be wise about money, okay, you guys, for this month of December. I hope that this gives you some type of guidance. I wish you guys the very best. Happy holidays to all of you guys, and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.